What's going on everyone? Joe back with Real Joe's Barbecue and today we're making some mac and cheese for a collab that P Digits is putting on. Drunken Chef gave me a call, asked if I want to be a part of it, and you know what I was going to. You know what? I'm kind of tired of making mac and cheese. You know who makes some really good mac and cheese? Bob Evans. All right, everyone, there's my cook. Everything's looking good. Took about, you know, eight minutes in the microwave. Not bad. Uh, this is pretty tasty. It's ready to eat right now. Can't wait to see what Drunken Chef and everyone makes and uh, P Digits. Hopefully they can top this, but I doubt it. This is pretty good mac and cheese, so here we are. Now, of course, I'm just messing around, but I also got some pulled pork, some the gospel, and some barbecue sauce. And what we're gonna do is take this saran wrap, get a nice long piece, Now I'm gonna lay down a base of this mac and cheese. Once that's done, I'm gonna put down some of the gospel. A little bit of barbecue sauce. And some of this awesome pulled pork I smoked. Some for the dish, some for me. All right, now the hard part is getting this rolled up correctly. So you're wanting to push all these ingredients in, make it into a, basically a mac and cheese log. That's what I'm shooting for here. Just like that. Look at that mac and cheese log. I'm gonna put one more round of saran wrap on that. Just make sure she doesn't go nowhere. And you're probably thinking, okay, now you got a, a, a log of mac and cheese of pulled pork in the middle. What's, what's, that, what's that gonna do? Well, this is going in the freezer until tomorrow, and then we're gonna pull it out and make something real special. All right, guys, it is the next day. These are hard as a rock. Look what we got here. Three frozen balls of mac and cheese. But we also got some egg mix, some flour, and some panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put a little bit of the gospel in this flour, mix that in with it, give it a little extra flavor there. All right, so I did one on practice already here. See how it turn out. We got it all wrapped up. I'm gonna be doing a double bath of egg. All right, after getting them all unwrapped, you can go egg first, and then some flour. I'm gonna go back to the egg and into the breadcrumbs. one knocked out. Now, let's head outside and get these fried. All right guys, I'm back outside with the Monument Grills Mesa 400. When I initially won this grill, I didn't know how much I would actually be using it as a propane grill, but I've been finding all sorts of uses for this, and I love using it. So I got the side burner right now on, on high with my oil here. That's gonna get hot, and that's where we're gonna be deep frying it. So nice taking this outside, not having to do this in the kitchen. You don't get the grease splatters anywhere. I can throw my cast iron on there, do some cast iron searing. It's been a great grill. So let's get this heated up, then we'll drop those in. All righty. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the first one in. Thank you. 
I think my next kitchen purchase will be bigger pots. Look at that beauty. Just take a look. That looks amazing. Get that on the plate. There we go. Turn this off. Let's let that cool off at, out here. All right, guys. I accidentally cut in one before the camera was rolling. But look how good this is. It is hot. We got pulled pork falling out of this. We got mac and cheese falling out of this. You got your deep fried mac and cheese pulled pork stuffed balls. I love that double coating that flour the panko with the meat church in there. Put a little barbecue sauce on there on top of it. They just smell amazing. Mmm. Whoa, baby. That is so good. That meat church in there mixed in with the breading, the pulled pork with that mac and cheese. Oh, this is a perfect combination. This is just it's a little hard to eat, but man. Mmm. I'm gonna push that one back in there a little. Get the close up of this one getting cut open. Just pouring that <laughs> steam coming out. I'm just gonna take this piece, flip it up like that. Hit it with a little of this. And that's a perfect bite right there. Now that is how you make mac and cheese with a barbecue twist. Mmm. Woohoo! I'm not even a big mac and cheese fan. You mix in pulled pork and deep fry it though. Woo! That is fantastic. So thanks for watching everyone. Make sure you check out Drunken Chefs, P Digits, everyone else that uh, we're getting in on this mac and cheese collab. I'll have a hashtag below. You should be able to search that and see everyone else's videos. We're getting close on our watch hours for that 4,000. So if you don't mind, hit my playlist, give that a play, share the video out, and, uh, and we'll see you next time.